They put the court battles behind them. ...was laid to rest today, but none of the mourners were sorry to see it go. Andrew Anderson attended the funeral of the Collie Wobbles. Collie Wobbles lived around Collingwood for 32 years, but died suddenly after the final siren at the MCG last month. This afternoon, the Magpie Finals curse was given a grand funeral. Possibly the happiest funeral procession Melbourne has seen wound up at Victoria Park, the scene of many grand final commiserations since 1958. All you Collingwood supporters have waited 32 years for this to happen. We don't want anyone crying or being sad. This is a very joyous occasion. Former Magpie captain Lou Richards had his revenge as high priest of the burial. This is the death of Collywobble. The jinx leaves only memories of finals defeat, which were sent to the grave one by one. Even in death, the Maggies had trouble sinking the Collywobble spirit. Finally, it went under. It's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Collywobbles are buried, and once again, it's them against us. After the break, uh, Sandy Roberts back with sport and highlights of Australia. Congratulations to the Collingwood Magpies. After 32 years, worthy winners of the 1990 AFL Grand Final. Uh, dejected, I've got 600...